And we welcome you in just underway here at the pit at Albuquerque, New Mexico. Glad you could join us. Adam Deal along with Ed Nunez. Mountain West Conference play on the Mountain West Network as Air Force on their first possession blocked underneath. New Mexico Lobos, they're in all white, trimmed up in cherry. Air Force in their royal blue and a steal left to right. Brianna Autry Thomas kick it out. Straight away three, and that is good. And so Air Force on the board. That's Riley Snyder. Other starters also Kalin Amel, Nikki McDonald's. Emily Conroe and also Brianna Autry Thomas is a three answered right back. The starters for the Lobos, Elise Hurst, Jordan Hosey, Jada De La Serta. Also, of course, Asia Robertson and Antonio Anderson. Ed. Great job by Hurst in answering the Air Force with a th uh, three with the three of her own. Drive, kiss off the window, and a finish. So back to back field goals for the sophomore from Fruta, Colorado. That's Riley Snyder. Again, just underway here in the first quarter if you're just joining us. Adam Deal along with Ed Nunez. And that's out of play and it's gonna be New Mexico Lobo basketball, or excuse me, Air Force basketball. Both teams coming off losses. Air Force to Wyoming, 68 to 52. New Mexico, very tough loss here to Boise State on Saturday, 95 to 76. They were outscored 24 to 10 in the fourth quarter. Just underneath was tipped away for a moment. Audrey Thomas gets it inside, a kick back outside for three. McDonald, no, but Audrey Thomas has the board and the finish. Not a and good Hulsey side there, Eric. Yeah. She's uh, shaken up, and you know, Adam, for her to go out of the game and be shaken up, it's got to be something major. The heart and soul of this uh, Lobo women's team, without a doubt. Looks like her right ankle she's favoring there. Hopefully she'll get a blow and be right back in. They need her. Senior night. Ed, and the only senior on this roster right now for New Mexico is Jordan Hulsey. On the inside, no, and here come Air Force. The Falcons, they've struggled a little bit this year, haven't they? 7-25 and 25 at 11. The first time these two teams met, New Mexico won at 53. 75-53 win. Here's a drive all the way. Window high, yes, and good. Been able to find a driving lane, and at least hers had her hands up, but Emma right now finding her way to the basket for some easy scores. So Emma with her first field goal. De La Serta spinning, turning. Firing, she thought she was fouled, no call. That's not her game, Adam. That's not her shot. That's not a good shot for Jaden De La Serta. Left alone on the elbow for three. Bang, bang, bang. What a start for the Falcons. Riley Snyder, another three-pointer. We're going to step aside. Air Force all over it early. Hey, back at it here on the Mountain West Network. A little Mountain West Conference action for you. Adam Deal, Ed Nunez with you. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you right now, Ed, uh, you can't start any hotter than Riley Snyder with eight points, a couple of three-pointers and a bucket. She averages 13.6. It's already half, almost halfway to that, but for the New Mexico, it's a continuation of the fourth quarter against Boise State on Saturday. They've got to get going. And there it is. Pull-up jumper for Robertson. Again, Robertson averaging 8.6, but averaged 14.8 last year. It's been a big difference for her, still coming off that ACL injury. Dish on the inside was tipped away by Elise Hurst. Senior night here for University of New Mexico. And you look at New Mexico's record in conference play too, and, and it could be so much better. It's the last two minutes in about five of these conference games. Lobos can't close them out. Dude, that's very true, and it's telling, though, it, you, you are what your record says you are. It sure. is, really. Here's a three-pointer. That's good. So a hot start for the Falcons. So Brianna Autry tops in second field goal. She's got five. And then a quick turnover for New Mexico and a dream start for the Falcons on the road. They're shooting 134 of 482 as a team. Adam, they only shoot 27% from three-point land. And right tonight. now, they're hot. An illegal screen sets, and well, that was even buried for Immel. 
but it's not going to count, obviously. Sometimes when you lose a quarter like the Lobos did on Saturday, 24 to 10, it takes a little time to get that confidence going. And right now, New Mexico looks lethargic for sure early on here in the first quarter. Robertson's going to bring it up the court for the Lobos, trailing it by 10 here early in this first quarter. Nice dish on the inside, and McGruder, Shai McGruder's checked in for an injured Hosey, had it stripped away clean. Straight away, three, no, off the side of the iron. Autry Thompson might have got away with a little walk. The dish on the inside, and McGruder, can she finish? It lips out, no, and out of play. It's a beautiful pass by Hurst, and McGruder just couldn't get it to go down, and nobody knows that it should have gone down more than Shy McGruder. And maybe Karina Carter coming in off the bench will give UNM a spark. They need one. Mike Bradbury's got to be frustrated with the start here. Shot on the inside, no, but there to clean it up and couldn't hit was Conroe. Way too strong off the glass. A little crossover dribble for Hurst. Spitting. Hurst gets it back. Can't hit. One and out again for New Mexico. Shooting percentage very poor in the first three minutes. Pull up window. No. And out of play. So Autry Thompson couldn't hit. Hurst last touched it. Yeah, part of the problem in transition is no one is stopping the basketball. And the Air Force guards are able to penetrate just as much as they want. And then they're getting the second shots. It's 50-50 loose balls all belong to the Falcons right now. The freshman from San Antonio, Texas, number one checks in for New Mexico, Karina Carter. There's the inbound pass. And again, that was deflected out of play. Good D by Magruder. Hands straight up without fouling. We're looking for effort plays right now, Adam, and we haven't seen a lot from UNM. Out on the wing, Conroe for three. It's in and out, no good, and New Mexico basketball. Now let's see if the Lobos can get something going here. Carter on a high screen. She's gonna go all the way, she's blocked. And Conroe's got the loose ball, and here come the Falcons. Another empty possession for the Lobos, one and out. Drip down low, kick out to the wing. Don't leave Snyder open, and this time she finally missed. That's her first missed field goal of this first quarter. It, it is, and she had another good look, and the Falcons get the rebound. Here comes Jordan Hosey back in the game, Adam. Emil is going to drive all the way, can't hit. And she got her own rebound. It was tipped out nicely, and a good job by Hoffman underneath, who's just checked in. Another possession for the Falcons, 20 seconds on the shot clock reset. Snyder, pump fake, little pull up, and she's got double digits already in the first quarter. That's just poor fundamental defense by the freshman, Karina Carter, and letting her man get away for an easy shot. Got to move the feet and stay in front of your man. Back door, Hurst had it stolen away. Sloppy start for New Mexico. Heath running, pull up, 10-footer left it short, and it's out of play. It's going to go other way. Lobo basketball. Adam, man-to-man -man defense is about desire, and right now UNM isn't showing any of that. Air Force about having their way offensively, just about doing anything they want to do. Autumn Watts from Centennial, Colorado, could have step in for the first time. Number 24 for the Lobos. Stolen again. How many turnovers is that for New Mexico? I'll tell you what, it's, yeah, they've... Uh, I That's a six. Four straight empty possessions by UNM. Huffman back out. Emil. The pull up jumper. It's good. A 12 footer. Emil came off a curl, catch and shoot. Beautiful execution by Air Force. This was tipped out of play. They're just forcing it, New Mexico, inside too much, Ed. Right, and Watts was well covered anyway, so an ill-advised pass by Asia Robertson and Jaden De La Serta were coming for her. All right, so Hal is back in for New Mexico, and 
or excuse me, it's Hosey. Excuse She's me. still Jordan ripping Hosey. a little bit, Adam, as she goes up the court. But she hits. Right, they need her out there. Hosey's first bucket of the game. Got a 12-point advantage for the Falcons. Here's Snyder trying to go into Huffman. Huffman's going to swing it out. Step for Heath. What a move there by Autumn Thompson. Deep in the shot clock now. Autumn Thompson has to make it happen. She'll pull up. And Hosey's got the board of the quick outlet. Here comes Jaden De La Cerda. Nice move. De La Cerda all the way. And one. Hesitation move by the junior from Roswell and put her defender to sleep. Got to the basket. The hoop to harm and she'll have a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. Great job by De La Cerda. From Roswell, New Mexico. Jaden De La Cerda able to finish and it's back to a 10-point game. De La Cerda averaging 11.2 points per game, shooting an 80% clip from the charity stripe. It's the first free throw of the game for the Lobos, a three-point play for De La Cerda. And the crowd will start to get up here for the first time in the pit. Autumn Thompson on the crossover, she's doubled. And trying to get it out of her hands. Snyder goes inside to Huffman, turns. Huffman still on it, up and underneath. Huffman in trouble. Swing it all the way around. Open for three is winners that she can't hit. And another offensive rebound. It was better defense in that half court set, but Air Force did a good job of moving the ball around and getting the 50-50 loose ball offensive rebound. Another possession for Air Force. Huffman had it stripped away. And Delo is going to run. Again, the hesitation this time stripped, but a foul is going to be called on the reach in. Fool me once, said. That's right. And you, you know, we always say that about Jalen De La Cerda, the energy she brings. She plays so hard on every possession. Lobos need more of that. They came out very lethargic at him. De La Cerda. Hulsey up and underneath. That's a great play. What a move for Jordan Hulsey, the senior. Second leading score, averaging 12, and gets a lot of her points inside on moves just like that. Great move by Hulsey. Three-pointer pops out, offensive board again. Marlett, who's just checked in, gets the second opportunity for the Falcons. They have been all over that offensive glass. I believe that's the fourth offensive rebound in the quarter by the Falcons. Swing it out to McDonald on the wing for 3 no. And then look at this, it pops right into the lap of Marlett. So Alea Marlett, just a freshman from Aurora, Colorado, gets her first bucket. Another offensive rebound by Air Force. It's been the story of the first quarter, nearly another steal. There it is, a steal all the way. Emil missed it, and a reach and foul. She did everything right, Ed, but finish it. And Emil sometimes you're worried about the chase okay. down, and, and you don't quite follow through on your layup like you should. Put a little bit too much English on that. That's why she missed. But Adam, New Mexico has had problems with ball security in the first quarter. They're just not taking care of the basketball valued possessions. We talk about that. They've been very sloppy with their ball handling. That again tipped away. Five seconds to go in the quarter. All the way, this time window high and a finish for Conroe, her first with .1 in the clock here in the quarter, and the Falcons are flying high at Nunez. Boy, they really are. Their defense has turned steals into offense. They've had several easy buckets in the first quarter. See Jaden De La Cerda earlier, the three-point play. Here's the .1, and look at that. The Lobos struggling here in the first quarter. It's all Falcons 23-12. We'll be back on the Mountain West Network. Live coverage 
of the Mountain West Conference right here on the Mountain West Network. Adam Deal along with Ed Nunez. Glad you could be here tonight at the pit in Albuquerque, New Mexico as the Air Force Falcons visiting and they're doing their job. How about creating nine turnovers at, and it's a 23 to 12 lead on the road for the Falcons. Well, points from turnovers, Air Force has nine, but the other telling stat to me, New Mexico, because of those turnovers, has only put up 11 shots in the first quarter. Five of 11 for 45%. That sounds decent, but they haven't got a lot of shots up because they keep turning the ball over. That's it's another turnover another to start the second turnover. quarter. So 10 turnovers for UNM so far, Adam. It's almost a turnover a minute. Autry Thompson, she's got to step inside, and she was partially blocked, I believe. And then a tie-up, and it's going to be Air Force basketball. And they're just out hustling New Mexico right now. For every 50-50 loose ball, Air Force has garnered most of those, and they get this one, too, on the tied ball possession back to the Falcons. It's frustrating to watch so far because you just haven't seen New Mexico have any fluidity or consistency on offense. All right, so Falcon basketball with the lead here in the second quarter. From Sioux Folk, Virginia, Andre Thompson has been very heady this guard number one right now with the basketball. New Mexico switched to a zone defense. High window on the shot this time. It doesn't fall for Emil. The no look on the inside, and Hosey's there to finish. She's got six, and what a dish this time by Robertson. Great look by Robertson. Again, the slow retreating Air Force defense. Robertson takes advantage of that with a beautiful pass to Hosey for the score. Now back to man-to-man. -to -man. When they make a basket, looks like it's a man. That's a double team and a foul on the reach in as Autry Thompson was in some trouble. I thought it was a good double team, but they got Anderson for the reach there. Air Force on top by nine. Dish on the inside, Snyder kind of just chucked it up there and it's tipped last touched by Air Force. It'll be New Mexico ball. Excellent defense by Jaden De La Serta, giving up inches in the post there, but had her hands straight up and made Snyder take a shot she didn't want to take. That's Hulsey there just a moment ago. As you watch the replay, she's got six points for the Lobos. No fluidity to the offense so far though. None. Those turnovers will prevent that and a foul on the Falcons in the half court set. It'll be the second one against Autry Thompson and the first team foul. Adam, I can't stress enough that Asia Robertson, because of that knee, likes to slash, likes to penetrate. That's really been, that's hampered her a lot. There's no doubt about it. Sure. And with that, the New Mexico offense has definitely suffered. And she's it's almost been a year. But right. It, yeah, I mean, it, every time I think we see her, she's got a more little and bit. more to offer, right? Here's De La Serta, and she'll fire one straight away, maybe a bit too far. Immel's going to bring it up the court. Bullying inside, and it's tied up. Good job by Hurst, who got a hand and a paw on, tied the, on top of that. And Marlott was really just trying to bully her way inside, wasn't she? You know, Hurst with a smile after that, and we remember, we have to have fun. It's a game, right? So that attitude is good. Hopefully, at least Hurst, that play gets New Mexico going here. Anderson had it stripped, got it back. Robertson bails her out. Shot clock to 13. And Robertson swings it, stolen. Snyder with it on top of it. Chasing it down is Marlett on the loose ball. Snyder's got it in the elbow. Reset it to Immel all the way. Good, in trouble. Good hedge by Anderson off the pick. 
She got by Robertson and she traveled. And that turnover forced by New Mexico's defense that time. Falcons turned it over 15.9 times a game. Holsey. That's thrown away by Anderson in another New Mexico turnover. And when it rains, it pours. And it seems like they haven't seen a UNM player really valued possessions, we call them as coaches in New Mexico with already with 12 turnovers. Certainly hasn't done a very good job of ball security so far. Here's a 15-footer, it's good, and it's Snyder again. So Riley Snyder with 12, and it's backed up to an 11 point lead for Air Force. Turning another turnover into points for the Falcons. Robertson, 17 footers, no good. And out of play to the Falcons. A couple subs coming in for New Mexico, Karina Carter and Shai McRuder. Somebody just got teed up, I'm not sure who. That was a quick tee, I'm not sure who. You're absolutely right. We also have a technical foul on Jordan Hosey. So Jordan Hosey is gonna be called for the technical, maybe maybe a frustration technical. I would think so, Adam. And Autumn Watts is going to check in for Jordan Hosey. So Snyder on the first technical knocks it down. She has been a sharp shooter, huh? The six-footer sophomore. Went to Fruita Monument High School. Coach Bradbury looking for that one spark, and they haven't found it. Not from any lineup combination that they've used. So it's got to be frustrating for him, for the team, because right now they just can't get over that turnover hump. And until they do, they're going to continue to be climbing uphill. Dish on the inside was taken away. Here come the Lobos. Hurst up in front. Nice two-step in the lane, and it popped out on her. Oh, it's a beautiful move. It's too bad. It's a good move. Defense! Snyder, high, arcing, got it to go. And you can't stop her right now. 16 points for Snyder. Started out early. It's continuing into the second quarter. Averages 13, already has 16. Robertson's got a high screen, and she's just been a bit erratic with it. Here's Hurst. Fakes the pass, misses the shot. There's nothing inside, nothing at the rim. No three-point attempts so far, I don't think, by New Mexico. They know they've made one. Offensively, they couldn't be more discombobulated. Pass on the inside, stolen. Magruder got her paws on it. Hurst. And it was stolen for a moment, but carrying her all the way out of play, Conroe. So with 4.43 to go here in the second quarter, it's Air Force on top. Well, the Lobos have struggled from the field, but it's 13 turnovers, really, that have limited their possessions so far. And a big lead here for Air Force in the second quarter. Air Force 11 points off of 13 New Mexico turnovers tells the story. It's a great inbound play, and Watts is able to finish. So the freshman, Adam Watts, with her first field goal of the game. Out of a timeout, that's great execution, as you mentioned. Let's see if that's the spark that gets New Mexico going here. Heath, nice play underneath. And Conroe able to finish. She's got four. That's a beautiful pass. And Conroe right in between New Mexico defenders put it up and scored nicely. It's really good execution, isn't it? That really was. Hurst steps back for a triple. No. The Lobos, that's just their third three-point attempt. And Hurst 
The Lobos leading three-point shooter, 85 of 235, 36%. Snyder's left alone on the elbow for three. Bang, bang, bang. She's got another. And Coach Bradbury is going to call timeouts as the New Mexico Lobos now trail by their biggest margin, 34-16. All Falcons back in a moment. Well, Mike Bradbury calls timeout, frustrated as the hottest shooter on the court. Riley Snyder was open for three, and she hit at his Carter all the way in a bucket for the freshman. Her first off the bench for New Mexico. But Snyder with 19 points for Air Force. Uh, she's, like you mentioned, started out in the first quarter, and this hasn't stopped. Jumper and another offensive rebound. This time Haley Jones, the sophomore, who just checked in number zero for the Falcons. This pops out. That was the 10th offensive rebound of the game already. That's hard to believe it really is. Hurst on the wing. No. And Hosey's got a second chance for the Lobos. De La Cerda backs her way, hands it off to Carter. Anderson on the dish inside. Hosey's able to get it back. She finishes. So the senior from Houston, Texas, Jordan Hosey with eight points and a chance at a three-point play. We mentioned Hosey averaging 12 points, also 8.3 leads the Lobos in rebounding, and she might lead, be one of the conference leaders in three-point plays as well, the old-fashioned one I'm talking about. And they sure need this free throw here. Can't hit. Two thirty to play here in the first half. Marlott's in trouble and trying to go back door. Nope. It was tipped away. I think it was Anderson who got her hands on it. And here comes Carter. Straight away, De La Cerda. No. Hosey says, give me that! And a finish! Great job by Hosey getting the offensive rebound and finishing. Those second effort, second chance plays. Definitely needs New Mexico with those, and they needed that one. Ten points for Hosey now in double figures. Good post up. A block from behind by Anderson. Conroe had position, didn't she? Had just Anderson from behind was able to block it away. Anderson fronted her on the wrong side, Adam. He got a funnel her to the middle. She let her have baseline. Here's Conroe. This time uses the pump fake to set herself free. She learned her lesson from the last time, and she's off to the free throw line. Hosey got a lot of ball there, but did foul, and Conroe will shoot two. Conroe averaging 8.4 points per game. Shooting at 73% from the free throw line. You know, Jordan Hosey gets frustrated. You can tell her and Mike Bradbury get frustrated with each other, but she went over there and let Coach Bradbury say whatever he had to say, nodded her head. She's still in the game. Coach Bradbury hasn't quit. Lobo shouldn't either. They're still trying to find some kind of combination here, Adam, and they've been unable to do so. Emily Conroe, a junior from Fredrickson, Virginia. She's got six points. And I'll tell you, injured, I think maybe come down trying to box out was Riley Snyder. So I was just hope she can get up. Free throw and came out of nowhere. She might have... Uh, turned that ankle over I'm not sure and Adam you played soccer you know when you turn those ankles over how painful they are it's the you think oh. it's death right for a moment the next least. day well, you've got a headache in your ankle and you know how that feels <laughs> well I hope Snyder's okay and so does all Air Force fans because she's got 19 she's points really here in the first well. half and yeah, she's limping a little bit so Hopefully, like you said, she'll be okay. Get some She's treatment. She's seven get her back of ten in. from the field. Just been absolutely brilliant. She's gotten some really good looks too. Some very good shots out of the Air Force half court offense. Buck thirty to play here, as Hurst was bumped. And this first half, it's a third team foul against Air Force. 
Freedom of movement there on the perimeter. Easy call by the official. Here's De La Serta. Nice move behind the back. She's blocked. All the way. Can't finish this time was Immel. Kick back out. And a reset here for the Falcons. Azaria Robertson, the freshman, is in. Let's see how she does. Doesn't got a lot of playing time, but. Robinson from Anchorage, Alaska. Quick shot. Lobo's the other way. Carter's on the baseline now. Kick underneath, and it was taken away. Again, those dishes are so hot and heavy underneath, and they're forced, aren't they? Again, the freshman Robinson probably isn't going to catch that. That had a lot of smoke. I'm not sure if Jordan Hosey would have caught that. A lot, of, a lot of smoke on that, a lot of heat on that. Here's Winters. That's three in the key. She kind of got lost in there, didn't she? No, she did. Wasn't sure. What, here comes Asia Robertson, Robertson for the last possession here. Robertson across half court. There's about half a second between game clock and shot clock. De La Serta, screen is set for Hurst. She bobbled it, got it, can't hit. And that's going to end the half. This won't count as the Falcons have come into the pit and put on a very nice first half performance. They limit the Lobos to just 22 first half points. I'll tell you, coming from Saturday when the Lobos scored 10 points against Boise State in the fourth quarter, it's been a continuation of that. New Mexico's got to figure things out at halftime. The good news, if there's any, is they couldn't play any worse. Well, 14 point lead for the Falcons as we head to halftime. Some updates, some highlights for you in just a moment. We've hit halfway point here in this Mountain West contest. We're live on the Mountain West Network back in a moment. Here on the Mountain West Network, Adam Deal along with Ed Nunez. Let's take a look at a couple of the first half highlights. It's Air Force on top, 36 22. Uh, Jaden De La Serta tried to get things going with that three point play early on in the game, Ed. Um, there wasn't a ton of highlights, let's be honest, offensively for New Mexico. Jordan Hosey, real spark, um, was injured a little bit, got the technical foul, but was able to get to double figures. Still, even with all the New Mexico's ineptitude on offense, she still did that. And so you see a couple of the dishes on the inside as Hosey able to finish. Uh, Karina Carter, when she stepped in, it didn't take her long. The freshman from San Antonio, a little kiss off the glass. Lobos trying to get something going, and this was when Hosey said, just give me that rock, I'll finish. Part of her 10 points couldn't finish at the free throw line. And then again, showing her power. The senior on senior night trying to make something special, but the Lobos have their work cut out for them. As Ed, you look at it, 14 turnovers, and go to the offensive rebounds. 12 offensive rebounds for Air Force. It's been unbelievable on the boards. 26 total boards to UNM's 14, out rebounding by 12, plus the turnovers. That equals losses almost all there the time. There it is right there. 26 rebounds, as you mentioned. But UNM has 14 rebounds. But how many unforced turnovers were there? At least nine were unforced and just careless ball handling by the New Mexico guards. And then not much defensive battles. For the Lobos, we'll see if it's a different story when we return. It is their second game in three days, by the way, on this Monday start time. And you're right, maybe some carryover from Boise. When we return, we'll have the second half for you here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, live at the pit of the Mountain West Network. We're ready for the second half, third quarter action on the Mountain West Network, Mountain West Conference play. As you can take a look at some of the first half stats, and we mentioned those rebounds you see right there, 26 to 14, 12 of them offensive for Air Force. They have been unbelievable. Their hustle stats, they've almost doubled New Mexico. Really a tale of the first half. 
Adam Diolette Nunez with you as we're started here in the third quarter, right to left now. Air Force, they'll start with the possession. And it's good to see Snyder's back on the court. Ed, remember she was injured as a drive and a finish for Autry Thompson. She's got seven. And the inlet pass into Hosey, strip clean. Uh, double teamed in a clean strip. It has been noted that New Mexico, are, they're trying to get it inside almost to their fault. Yeah, sometimes they end up forcing it. That's a good point. Easy call there. That's a push off, Snyder. Adam, for those wanting to know, New Mexico has outscored their opponents 593 to 536 in the third quarter. Let's see if that trend continues. Robertson going to swing it all the way to De La Cerda, who's got a step and awkwardly kind of puts it up. I think she was looking more for the contact. You know, she was, and she was expecting it, but that was a good defensive play by number 32, Kaylin Immel, and forcing De La Cerda into a bad shot. Crowd will stand here for the Lobos offensively to get a bucket. Jumper, no. And a foul is going to be called underneath. That's going to go against Conroe. So Emily Conroe on the push off for the second team foul here in the third. Well, through three quarters, the Lobos have only scored the last their last three quarters, dating back to Boise State on Saturday afternoon. The Lobos have only scored 32 Boy, points. Boy, that is very, very tough. That really is. You know, Tonya Anderson averages nine. She didn't score in the first half. De La Cerda. All the way, too strong, can't finish. That's normally a shot De La Cerda finishes. Autry Thompson, she had it tipped away, but she got it back somehow, some way, kicks it out. Snyder for three, no. And you almost just expect that to go down, and another offensive rebound. Autry Thompson, no, and the Lobos come away. Offensive rebound after offensive rebound for the Falcons. De La Cerda. No, but Hosey's got the rebound. She's stuffed at the rim. De La Cerda on the rebound. And a foul's going to be called on the reach in this time against Air Force. It'll go against the junior from Beavington, Oregon, excuse me, Kaylin Immel, the guard. That's already the third team foul against Air Force here in the third quarter. Robertson from the Asia Robertson who averages 8.6 points per game only one of two from the first half only shot the ball twice which is unusual again lack of possessions though that played a part into it the Lobos were one of two in the first half for the free throw line and they make this one both of them by Hosey by the way she's got 11 points and misses the second Here's Snyder. Autry Thompson was fouled. De La Cerda picks up her first personal. It's the first team foul against New Mexico. A step slow on defense. And that's been the story for New Mexico all evening long. On the elbow, Snyder, high arcing three, it's good. Caught New Mexico in a bad rotation, Snyder took advantage of it. 22 points at Nunez as Riley Snyder has taken over this game. Oh, she really has. Robertson, she walked. Sometimes when teams have a bad fourth quarter like New Mexico did on Saturday, they're not, again, slow transitioning. Look at the transition defense. Another three, no, this time it doesn't fall as it's tipped and out of play. Last touch by Anderson. As I was mentioning, those team, those games kind of bleed over to the next game. That's what's happened here to UNM. You don't see the, the, the urgency, the effort. The effort's there, but the urgency. It's, uh, can I stop my man? Can I take care of the basketball? Can we get rebounds? You're just not seeing that as collectively as a team. 
That's why New Mexico finds themselves down almost by 20 points by 18. Country Thompson had it tipped away, so no backcourt violation. Emil. Conroe's going to try to rotate it all the way to the far wing, and it's tipped out. Air Force basketball here in the third quarter with the big lead. Again, New Mexico only one of six in three-point land in the first half. Normally, they shoot much better. 22-38 of 762, 31% from the three-point land. Another How about that score. inbound play? Emily Conroe now with eight points. Remember, New Mexico defeated Air Force at Colorado Springs 75 to 53 on January 11th. This is a total reversal of that. Robertson almost had her pass stolen again. Again, that pass makes no sense to me because you're going one way and Della Cert is cutting towards the basket. Again, it's the ball security that has caused New Mexico problems all evening long. Here's Hurst for three. Twine and then dying in a big triple for Elise Hurst. Leads the Lobos in three-pointers with 85. That's number 86. It's her second today. The Lobos before that were one of six from deep. I apologize, one of seven, so they're now two of eight. That's a great move, wasn't it, by Autry Thompson. She's got nine points. Nerlis De La Serta again, a step slow on defense. Unusual for the junior from Roswell. And then she threw it away. Well, and it was touched, I believe. No, it was touched by Anderson. If that was touched by Emily Conroe, then it wouldn't have been backcourt. I was, I was curious what she was doing, yeah, chasing it down, because it was going to be an automatic turnover. She was going to go get it and lay it up. No, that wouldn't have been a turnover. Conroe can get that, Adam. She can get that and, and, uh, and, and turn that into a layup. Snyder will swing it around. Emil's got a pump fake. Back to Snyder. The three, nothing but net. And she can't miss. 25 points for Riley Snyder. Oh, she's just lighting the Lobos up this evening. It's a gorgeous looking shot, isn't it? Here's it Hurst really on the drive. Fouled and will go to the free throw line. That is the largest lead of the game, 48-26, a 22-point advantage. Snyder's shooting 36% from the field, also 35% from three-point land, so it's not as if she's lighting, you know, shooting 43 or 50%, but tonight she can't miss. So Hurst with seven points on the free throw. That's three of six. And Three right. or five, I apologize, from the free throw line. Coach Snyder's tried zone. He's tried man. He hasn't tried pressing yet, and I don't know if he's going to think about that because nothing has seemed to work defensively. And Snyder, nobody's really made it a defensive priority to go out there and stop her. They're going to try to face guard her. I mean, she's just destroying the Lobos. Foul's going to be called. Blocking call. It's a second team foul against New Mexico. You have to make Snyder defensive priority for sure. Offensive. That's drawn by Jordan Hosey. Ran over there by number 33, Kiki McDonald, Nikki McDonald. It's a bit quiet here in the pit, isn't it? Just nothing to cheer about for the New Mexico faithful here. Hurst on a deep one. Missed it. And Immel's got the rebound for Air Force, weaving. Goes all the way, and she's fouled, and she'll go to the free throw line. No one stopped the ball again for New Mexico, so Immel slicing and dicing her way through the Lobo defense will shoot two. Now, I remember the last time these two played was back January 11th in Colorado Springs, where the Lobos won at 75-53. And will the Falcons' leading score with 15 a game. Had four points in the first half. Lobos had kept her relatively quiet, but it was Riley Snyder that took advantage of that. Got to both six points now for Immel in the game. And yes, Snyder has, has taken over for the scoring, hasn't she?
Here's the pull-up jumper for Robertson. That's a tough one. She knocks it down. Shot that with confidence. Maybe that Robertson clapping her hands as she comes goes back on defense. Maybe they'll get the senior going. They sure need it. Also a big one. Ed Nunez is the pull-up jumper is good. Guess who it is? It's Riley Snyder. She's got 27. Nothing but twine on that, Adam. And both these teams sit at the bottom or near the bottom of Mountain West Conference plays. Robertson fires, can't hit. As Air Force, 5-11 and 11 here. Look at this, a steal and a finish for Robertson underneath. So back-to-back -back buckets for her. She's got six. But at 5-11, and 11, Air Force, uh, second to last, New Mexico 5-11 and 11 as well. I mean, this is, you know, you're playing for seating right now no, for that tournament for sure. next week in Vegas. And a foul is going to be called. And Robertson boxed out, and so she's had a little spark here for the Lobos. But still, it's Air Force on top by 18. It was, we've come to our first time out here back in a moment on the Mountain West Network. Up, Will? Or no? Okay. All right, so Robertson, she's been the spark here with drawing a foul and six straight points for the Lobos. Adam Dillette Nunez with you here on the Mountain West Network. 345 to play in the third quarter. Emil. It's good defense by Karina Carter. And it pops out another offensive rebound for Air Force. They've ruled the offensive glass tonight for sure. Snyder up and underneath. She cannot miss. Everything she fires is on net. 29 points. And that wasn't bad defense there. Snyder just better offense. Magruder to Elise Hurst. And Hurst is going to go all the way. Nice drive by Elise Hurst, who's now in double figures with 10. Mexico, eight straight points on their offensive possessions, but they've got to get some stops. They want to cut it into the 17 point lead. Snyder. All the way in a finish. And Autry Thompson is going to the line and a chance at a three-point play. It's a beautiful shot by Thompson over the outstretched arms of two Lobo defenders. Shot of a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. This one, New Mexico makes a little bit of a climb. They get kicked back down. Thompson, a 65% free throw shooter from the charity stripe. Autry Thompson with 12 points now, and it's back to a 20-point game. Here's a three out of the wing. It's Robertson. Nine points in the third quarter for Robertson. And she scored the last nine points. Excuse me, Hurst has a field goal in between that. So Hurst and her have scored the last 11 points combined. Driving all the way, no, Immel can't hit, and the loose ball bounces out to Karina Carter. Carter stutters, now she's gonna go all the way, and she's gonna go to the free throw line. Great a little job. hesitation. Yeah, great job by Carter with that hesitation move, and she'll get to the line and shoot two. Carter shooting 64% from the cherry stripe. Once in a while, that creativity definitely pays off for New Mexico. They did there. At least she has a chance to go to the line anyway. Buck 47 to play here in the third quarter. And Lobo's trying to inch their way back into this one. As Carter has a couple of free throws, and she's long on the first. So it's four of seven 
from the charity stripe as a team. And she missed them both. Four of eight. Huffman is just checked back in. It's Cassidy Huffman, the redshirt junior from Colorado Springs, Colorado. And a turnover on the inside. Hurst will hand it off to Robertson. She'll make her way up. Why not? Stops for three. Twin and a diamond. A big triple for Robertson. Get the fans back in with each basket. Lobos trail by 14. 12 13. Points. Excuse me, 12 points. Yeah, you're right, you're right, Ed. 12 points for Robertson in this quarter. Really feeling it this quarter for sure. Huffman has fouled and she'll go to the line. That's a late rotation defensively by UNM. And she's got 12 of the last 14 for New Mexico trying to keep them in this. This is the closest it's been in a while, believe it or not, 14 points. Let's see now Air Force guards are if they're going to close out a little bit harder. Maybe Robertson will be able to slash to the basket, get some other easy baskets. There's your Robertson and Jordan Hosey, the two seniors, trying to go off with a bang here in the pit. Huffman, believe it or not, has not attempted a free throw all year. Zero of zero, zero percent. That, that is shocking, that isn't is. it? There's her first. first you wouldn't one. know it. And she got them both. Carter had it stripped. And I think that's a tie ball. Great job by Jordan Hosey to get on top of that. And Hosey, the possession arrow goes to UNM. So Hosey fighting on the floor to get another possession for her team. How big is that? That really is. Last 50 seconds here in the third. Hurst for 3 0. So Emma will take her time up the court. To Leah Marlett, to Huffman. Conroe. Huffman inside on the left hand, no. And Marlett's gonna get the offensive board. Fires a three on the wing, got it! And those offensive rebounds killing New Mexico. Alea Marlett, the freshman with five points, and you're right, another offensive rebound. And then here's a moving screen on Jordan Hosey with 3.7 to go here in the quarter. But that's the fifth Foul. Oh, excuse me, it's an offensive, offensive foul. Offensive so. foul, so no shooting. You're right, so here we go. Emil is going to take it. Emil driving, pull up at the buzzer. Good to go. Putting on a clinic here in the pit and a 21 point advantage. It's Air Force all over New Mexico. Final 10 minutes of this one here in Albuquerque, New Mexico at the pit. Dream Style Arena out of deal here with Ed Nunez. And we're talking off air, Ed. Air Force have gathered a nice lead here, 21 points, as they finish on a 7-0 run to end the third quarter. And Lobos haven't played well, but Air Force, they're really bringing it offensively, aren't they? They've played very well. And let's go over some stats. 24, 56, 42%. Three-point land, 7 of 17 for 41%. So if you, as you've mentioned, And then 8 of 9 advantage. for the free throw right. line. So they've shot the ball really well here. Out rebounded New Mexico 37 to 20. That's a huge gap. Another offensive foul. Bad pick. This has been tough for the Lobos offensively. That is their 19th turnover. How 
I can't keep saying this enough. It still seems to me, at least, the effects of that game against Boise State that fourth quarter definitely carried into tonight. It's less than 48 hours ago. It's 48 hours ago, and you'd think that they've forgotten it. It's apparent that they haven't. No. Here's a three-pointer. No, and the rebound to Anderson. Carter's going to push. Carter into Magruder. Good play. Magruder just can't finish. There's a few of those have popped out on the Lobos. Conroe pushed her off the block just a little bit, making Magruder miss that shot. Great step, and it's going to go the other way. I think it was an illegal screen set, really to set. I believe it was Immo Free, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, and, well, that's a big break there for UNM, but they've got a big hill to climb here to start the fourth quarter. Robertson got it, and she is on fuego. <laughs> she really is. That's the most confidence we've seen her shoot, at least me anyway, at home here this season. Seventeen points for Robertson, all fifteen here in the second half. Emil, turn around. And a foul's going to be called. Was it away from it was. the shot? You got a Falcon down. I don't know if they're talking about a flagrant here. Let's see what they're talking about. It looks like they're, they might go to a review. They got up. So Listen. a review here to see what occurred. And it was underneath the basket as, as Emil was trying to pull up. It's on shot Karina block. Carter, Adam. They're just going to the, I think, they're going to go to the video and take a look. Ed, when's the last time you've seen 17 offensive rebounds? That's just incredible. It really is. It's been a long time. And, and there's still 825 to go right. for Air Force. And they've just, they've dominated the glass. They've dominated the shooting percentage and the turnover ratio. Man. 12 turnovers for Air Force, 19 for New Mexico. To your point there, the Air Force has 17 offensive rebounds. UNM has four. Well, there you so, yes. And 37 total boards to, to, to 20. Won the rebound battle, won the turnover battle. As you mentioned, give Air Force credit. They've come in here and executed their game plan very well. After getting beat out of Colorado Springs by the same Lobo team by 22 points to about a month ago. The foul was on Karina Carter, and it has been ruled an intentional foul by Carter. Okay, so Karina Carter, it's going to be an intentional foul. That's the ruling. Two free throws in the ball to compound matters even more for New Mexico. And Snyder. It's been a sniper. 31 points. Her career high was just a couple of weeks ago against San Jose State when she scored 32. So she's flirting with that right, with 31. No, she, and you'd expect with 825 left in the fourth quarter that she'll get that. Well, again, Lobos were fighting back, and it's back to a 20-point lead now for Air Force. That's going to go against Huffman. And an offensive foul. Carter. No. Here comes Immel. Huffman turning, Huffman. And again, I think three of the key. Yeah. Huffman One too many pump fakes. Got the ball, very good post position on the left block, but good defense by Magruder made Huffman think about that. And then the paint well, got, got dry She's got the size her. six foot two. I think sometimes she right. just needs to go up. Definitely. Robertson, that is a tough move off the window, and she stays hot. 
Beautiful move by Asia Robertson. 19 for her. Fighting. Scrapping. Defensively, New Mexico has to take it one possession at a time. Get stops and keep piling stops up if they can. Pump fake up and underneath and a nice finish. Brianna Autry Thompson, 14 for her. Thompson got Robertson off her feet and scored nicely. Foul's going to be called underneath against Snyder. As Hulsey will check back into the game. It's a second foul on Snyder. Nice play. And it's still a sort of. Great execution on an inbounds play. Easy score for New Mexico that still trail by 18. Five for De La Serta. And the Lobos, they need some stops right now. Stolen by Robertson. And she's going to go all the way on the left hand and finish. And a timeout is going to be called. So the Lobos try to fight back. 16-point game with 6.30 to play back in a moment. 6.30 to play here in the fourth quarter. As Air Force will bring it up the court. And here's a backdoor cut. And underneath, it was Emil able to finish. And she's got double figures now. It's good execution in the half court by the Falcons again. They've always had the answer when the Lobos have a little run here, don't they? Robertson had it stripped from her. Now a screen. Now she's going to go all the way, and it's blocked out of play. I'll tell you, Asia Robertson has really felt it here in the second half with 21 points. Total 19 of them, though, here in this half. Seeing some of that explosion come back for sure. Tipped away. She didn't even see it. Just got her hands on it, Conroe, and finishes. Another turnover. The Air Force turning defense into offense, and we've it's been the story here all evening long. Lobos trail again by 20. That's the fourth Falcon in double figures as Karina Carter goes all the way. No, Hosey was fouled underneath. It's going to be on the court. No bucket. That's nearly a five-second call. Hurst got it. That's a tough bucket for Hurst. Better offense, good defense by Huffman, but Hurst found a way to get that shot in. 12 for her. Dish on the inside was stolen. Carter's going to find Elise Hurst for three. No. But Hosey's got the board, and she's fouled. Oh, and Huffman's got to be careful. She's throwing some frustration. She's lucky she didn't get teed up. No, she is. You're right. On, there's going to be a media timeout, excuse me. So 4.57 to go on a couple of free throws when we return. Well, the Lobos fighting here, but trailing still by 18. And Air Force has come on the road and put on a show through three and a half quarters. Can they finish it? That's the question, as Host has got a couple of free throws coming here, Ed. Air Force has given every indication that they will finish. They've played very well through three and a half quarters, and I haven't seen anything from New Mexico defensively where they've put together successive stops to stop the Falcons and that efficient half-court offense that they've been running all afternoon or all evening. A transfer from University of Texas from Houston. Hosey makes the first, misses the second. She's three of six from the free throw line and all, and it's a 17-point game.
Conroe would, had her man posted. She was wide open. They missed her. Spinning, turning, and this one just misses. It off the leg, out of play, off of Air Force. It was Autry Thompson who took the shot. Almost had it go down at the shot clock buzzer, but one of the few times Air Force hasn't executed in the half-court offense. Autry Thompson reaches in. She's got the steal. That's a careless pass by Karina Carter, Adam. Here's Snyder for three, no. You almost just expect it to go in, don't that you? That was right on the rim. <laughs> it really was just rattled out. Carter's gonna bring it up. Carter's gonna go all the way on the left hand and this time finishes. Karina Carter's second field goal with four. That's a beautiful move by the freshman Karina Carter. 15 point game, 340 to go. Snyder had it stripped from her, it's Hurst. Hurst finds Hosey. Can she keep it in play? Yes. Hosey up underneath, and she'll go to the free throw line. It's a good job by Hosey in sticking with it. Double teamed, gave the up and under fake, and was able to get to the free throw line to shoot two. Just struggle from the line though, three of seven. You can do it. Yeah. Eight of 13 as a team now, and Jose's got 13 points. New Mexico's got to press. Hopefully get some steals and easy scoring opportunities. Air Force will probably try to work the clock down as long as they can. Take as much time off the clock. Almost stolen by Della Serta. Himmel had it blocked. Robertson. Cross over to set herself free. Here come the Lobos. As Robertson's going to the line. And so a lot more intensity here in the last few moments from New Mexico. The speed, the burst seems to somewhat recover. I haven't seen her go end to end as fast and explode into the lane as well as she has in the second half. That's a good sign for New Mexico. <laughs> 22 points now for Asia Robertson from San Francisco, California. And she missed the second. There's a steal. Just underneath. Extra pass. Robertson. And now here comes the pressure from New Mexico. And a foul is going to be called on Hurst. I believe it's just the third, third team foul. So New Mexico has two more fouls to give. And this is the closest it's been since the first quarter, Ed. they got to watch for the home run ball here. Offensive foul. Emil's going to be called. And for the first time, the Lobos have the crowd on their side tonight. And cut it within single digits here. It's been a while since New Mexico has been that close. A little bit more urgency in the last few moments. Robertson for three. Got it. Air Force needs a timeout, Adam. 
And the Kaiser almost not taking it. a foul. Or excuse me, almost a turnover. 27 points now for Robertson, the senior. Now the crowd, as soon as they got loud, a foul is called. It's the fourth team foul. It's the second on Karina Carter. Here's that last triple bang. Snyder will get it up. Autry Thompson's going to run. And Emil's going to go all the way in a big answer for Air Force. So Kaylin Emil, the junior from Beaverton, Oregon, Southridge High School, has quieted this place. De La Serta tried to sprint back on that press. It's about a step late. It's a good job by Thompson and finding Emil wide open. Big three-point play there for Emil. Robertson foul's going to be called against Autry Thompson. And that's the fifth, and so bonus here for Robertson. And that's her fifth. She's fouled out of the game with a buck 42 to go. He's Is it too game. little too late, Ed? They trail by 11, and a lot of things have to go right. You've got to keep scoring to keep stopping. Hope Air Force misses some free throws. It's a long hill still. Not impossible. And this is the first. Twenty-eight now for Robertson. Ten point game. It was tips by New Mexico and out of play. Air Force basketball. This is the right call, Ed. We got a good view from it here yeah. on the baseline. Absolutely the right call. McDonald will throw it in for the Falcons. Just do get it in to Immel. And she's going to hold on to it. They'll bleed some clock here for sure, and they should. Five on the shot clock. Emma to Snyder for three. Got it to go at the buzzer on the shot clock. And that might do yeah. it. <laughs> Snyder with a career high 34 points tonight. And it's fitting with the final dagger comes from Snyder. Carter for three, no. And it was an attempt, but Air Force have silenced the crowd here in Albuquerque and looking to come away with a big road victory. We'll step aside, back at it here on the Mountain West Network. Well, a back crippling three-pointer just a moment ago for Riley Snyder, who now has a career high with 34 points at, and she has been fantastic. Here's a steal. Robertson, can she go and finish? Yes, she can. 29 for Robertson. As Immel will bring it up the court for Air Force, but still an 11 point lead. They're going to again work the clock. Another turnover. Another turnover, though. New Mexico needs a three point shot. They really do. They can score two here and try to get a steal, but a three would be ideal. They've got to hurry. Air Force is just going to pack the three point line. Robertson, no. Can't finish, and Air Force have the ball with 26 ticks to go. And Immel's going to go to the free throw line, and the Falcons are going to jump the Lobos in the standings here. 
Uh, New Mexico just really struggling the last part of the season. Seems like they lost a little bit of confidence to me. They've had some very uh, close games where they lost by two or three, but Saturday's game and this one here, they trailed by double figures most of this game. In fact, I don't think they ever got it under single figures. That's Jordan Hosey's going to the bench, the senior. Hosey gets a hug from Mike Bradbury. And from the bench, senior Knights, and also Asia Robertson. Emotional, obviously, on senior night. Well, both players have had great careers here in New Mexico. Not over yet, got the Mountain West tournament. You never know what can happen. Although New Mexico, let's be honest, Adam, they're trending downward. So Immel, a couple free throws. The last moments here for the Lobos. Karina Carter, hesitation all the way, no, too strong. And so Air Force is gonna hold on. 79 to 66. That's the final. Here in New Mexico, the Falcons get their eighth win of the season. They go to 8 and 20. They're 6 and 11 in Mountain West Conference play. And the New Mexico Lobos drop this contest at home as their record falls to 14 and 16 on the year and 5 and 12. And play your last thoughts at Nunez. Air Force started out well, they finished well. Again, they won the rebound battle and the turnover battle. They turned several New Mexico turnovers into points. Give them credit. They executed their game plan very well here tonight. All right, again, the final here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 79-66. It's Air Force over the Lobos. Glad you could join us for the entire crew. For Ed Nunez, I'm Adam Deal saying so long on the Mountain West Network.